Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to set the parameters of the EP Ever Hybrid Inverter. These are the ideal values for lithium ion phosphate 48 volt battery. Let's start with parameter setting. So this is the user manual. You have to press and hold down this key to access the setting. First setting is battery type. Again, you have to press and hold down set key link. Then you can go up and down to set the correct battery type. I am using a lithium ion phosphate battery, so I will keep it as user. Then once more you have to press the set key to set that value. Now you can access the charge source priority. I want to set this solar priority. So it is already set. You can change it using this key and once the solar priority is highlighted you can set it again. Then you have output source priority. Again you can go down output source priority will appear here you depress it and here it is blinking now you can change the output source priority it is utility or battery so i will keep battery and press set the next setting is temperature units that is in uh, celsius if you want you can change it to fahrenheit next setting is backlight time 30 seconds is there I will keep it as is buzzer alarm switch which is on then next one is low voltage disconnect voltage I can only increase up to 45.2 then again it comes to 42 so at the moment I will keep it as it is and low voltage reconnect voltage maximum limit you can set it again 52 so i will keep it as is you can access the advanced menu by using these key combination first i will escape and return to the normal screen mode then press and hold down these two keys so this is the advanced menu so first item is boost charging time by default it is 30 I would like to have it for longer time so I will increase it to 120 and set it. So the next one is boost charging voltage recommendation is 55 volt 56.4 it is set I would like to have it 55 55.2 okay I will set it there. No, it is not setting. Why? Because other parameter you have to increase. I will decrease this and set. Decrease, set. Uh, no, decrease, set. Float charging voltage. Ideal value is 54.9. Okay. I will set it there. Whose charging voltage should be 55 or equal? So I will reduce, reduce. Yeah. Uh, this is okay. So I will set it there. Over voltage, reconnect voltage. That also we will come later. Over voltage, disconnect voltage. Okay, we will put the lowest one. This uh, sixty two and set it. Auxiliary mo uh, module of fifty three point two. 
this chip. Yes, you can see it there. Right. Then uh, auxiliary mode on. Yeah, I will keep it as is. Dry connect on voltage 44. Point 0.4 that is correct. Dry connect off voltage 48 it is also correct. Then max charging current 80 ampere. Power saving mode I have kept it off. You can turn it on if you want. Clear fault. Clear accumulation energy. Then total battery capacity. 100 MPa in my case. Then you have software version also you can see here. So all set. We are good to go ahead and use the inverter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like the video, you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you can watch more and more very useful videos in future.